Ordinarily, I wouldn't do a setup for a car that revolved around it using an engine swap, but considering the recent exploit and the fact that for now, until it's patched, you can get unlimited engine swaps, I thought I'd make an exception for this one, and maybe a few others, in the future. And if you don't know anything about that exploit, there's a link in the description to the video which explains it all. But yes, what we have here is the S13 Silvia with the LS7 engine from the Subaru BRZ drift car shoved into it, which standard produces over a thousand horsepower. And you can get that close to 1200 with the high RPM turbocharger. And on screen, you'll see all the upgrades I have fitted to this car. And in terms of the visual and aerodynamic stuff, I have the wide body kit on and a few custom aero parts, which you'll also see on screen. And now, finally, to get into the tune setup before we take it out on the track. So, starting with tyres, we have Racing Soft on the rear, but heavy wet tyres on the front, which helps with stability because this thing will spin if you're not careful with it when you're, say, going around the bank corner at Special Stage Route X. Now, of course, with the suspension and the diff settings, I've tried to find the best possible compromise to mitigate that a bit, but at the end of the day, you're still going to have to be careful with this thing. And because of that, you'll actually see we're running some downforce there in the settings, just to give it a bit more stability through the corners, and the front did have an issue where it would just lift up and you'd lose a lot of speed, so I have to have some running on the front as well to counteract that. Now moving on to the transmission, what you want to do is go to your auto setting first, change that to 186 miles an hour or 300 kilometers depending on what your units are, then go to your final drive, take that all the way down to 3, and then adjust the individual gears to what you see there on screen. So now it's time for me to be quiet and show you what it can do on track. Yep, it's pretty quick, huh? Over 290 miles an hour under its own power without any slipstream from other cars or nitrous. But what would happen if you did have those? Well, as they say, there's only one way to find out. And just for a bit of fun, I've set up a little custom race, and set the AI opponents to other road cars that I've previously done top speed tunes for. And I'm going to give them a bit of a head start. But come the first corner, the Sylvia has clawed them back and is starting to breeze by them, after some very careful throttle application, and I will stress that again, because this thing is rabid. If you're not careful, it will spin you out at 160 miles an hour in a dead straight line with the traction controller. It's a nutcase. But I was careful. It's by no means impossible to drive. But now we're passing those cars that I previously tuned, which were among the fastest in the game before this thing came along. But then we get onto the straight, and with the benefit of NOS and Slipstream, of course, we're easily cracking 300 miles an hour, hitting 310 before I run out of slipstream and the speed slowly starts to go down again. But I think that's quite crazy enough. So I hope you enjoyed the setup. Hopefully you found it useful if you've been struggling with this thing. And make sure to get those engines while you can using the exploit. Well, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.